Hi, and welcome to Run Tall with Tim. I'm Tim. I hope you're having a great day, and thanks for being here and spending a little of it with me. On today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing a new daily trainer by Skechers. It's their Max Road 5. Now these are lightweight, highly cushioned daily trainer that features their hyperburst midsole foam. But before I get into it too far, let's check these out in action. But then when we come back together, I'm going to take a real deep dive into the Skechers Max Road 5. If you're new to the channel, I post running shoe reviews, comparisons, and shoe battles weekly. But I also like to post other videos about running too. So if you enjoy watching running shoe reviews and other videos related to running, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time that I upload new content. Now these are a neutral road shoe that I ordered true to size and they fit me perfectly. They cost 130 US dollars. They came in at 8.4 ounces for men's size nine and my scales or 239 grams. Now the upper features a synthetic engineered mesh material that's really comfortable. It's soft to the touch, feels great on foot, and you can see that they have plenty of perforations up there in the toe box to allow some airflow to keep your feet cool and comfortable when you're out running. It has a little bit of a plastic overlay there around on the lateral side of the shoe. And then as we work our way around, we can see that they have really quite a bit of rubberized material here these stripes that's all this plasticky material that they have from the forefoot all the way back through to the heel counter that i have to assume is there to give it a little bit of structure as well as some durability looking at the eyelet chain here they've got a real simple classic design and you can see that they did include that extra eyelet in case you want to run with a runner's knot I don't always choose to do that, but if I want to, it's nice to have that option. So I appreciate that. Also across the midfoot section of the shoe with this lace enclosure system, I was able to get locked in and secure really quickly and easily. This is a really comfortable upper by Skechers. So I really applaud them for that. And you know, I felt safe and secure all the way back to the heel cup of the shoe. The tongue has a moderate amount of padding. So they didn't overdo it, but it was more than enough to keep me comfortable when I was out running. And you can see that it's not gusseted, but they do have this loop in case you want to run your laces through there to help hold it in place. I didn't have any issues with it migrating around. You can see it's a fairly wide tongue, so it lays nice and flat across your foot. It has some perforations down at the start, and then there at the top, it's more of a suede or leather type material. Overall, I found that it was really comfortable. No big wow factor here, but it does the job. Looking at the padding around the heel collar and the tab, you can see that they have plenty of it. It's kind of a crazy amount considering this shoe only weighs 8.4 ounces. And it's a pillow style padding, so there's plenty of it. It's kind of rests up more around the top, around the collar. Plenty there in the heel counter area of the tab of the shoe. It's nice and comfortable for your Achilles to rest in. It does not feature a heel flare like many of the shoes do. It's more of a classic design. And they do have this pull tab back here to help you get your shoes on should you wish to do so. Now the heel counter has plenty of structure back here. So you can see as I pinch it together, it has quite a bit of resistance. Well, that creates a nice solid heel pocket for you to sit in. So combine that with the padding around the heel collar and the tab, I found these to be really comfortable to run in. 
Now the insoles do come out pretty easily. They are a little bit tacky, but if you like to pull those out and put in your own to customize the fit, you can do that without a whole lot of trouble. Or if they get dirty, you can wash them up, let them air dry, and then put them back in so you're good to go the next time you're ready to run. Now the midsole features their hyperburst material, and they use what they call a super critical process in order to create this foam. It's simply a chemical term that they use to describe how they infuse it with these spherical shaped cells. I don't know what they do exactly. I'm not a chemist, but I can tell you that they're really fun to run in. They're soft, they're cushioned, they're lightweight, and they have a ton of bounce and energy return. And then within that foam, they have a carbon infused H plate that gives it just a little bit more snap through your toe as you move through your gait cycle. Now these are highly cushioned and it's no wonder given the stack height of these things. Now stack height doesn't always mean plush, but in this case, it certainly does give you a nice soft cushioned ride when you're out running. You have 39 millimeter stack height in the heel and 33 millimeters in the forefoot for a six millimeter offset from your heel to the toe. So let's look at the geometry of the midsole. Now here Skechers features their M-Strike design, which is just another name for having a really aggressive rocker that promotes a midfoot to forefoot foot strike. I found it to be really comfortable. Now you can see that they have a pretty aggressive curvature there up in the forefoot of the shoe, but then they also have a really aggressive uh, heel bevel back here too. Now I noticed that right away when I put these on, laced them up and just started walking around my house when I first got them. It was really noticeable. Now when you're out running, if you're already a mid to four foot foot striker you're probably not going to notice it that much but you certainly notice it when you're walking i think those that might be uh, have the tendency to strike the ground with their heel they're going to find that to be really comfortable as well because it just seems to be there's a lot of cushion there and with the way that that is beveled it makes it nice and smooth as you move through your gait cycle now, as I flip these shoes over and we take a look at the outsole, you can see that they feature a number of different flex grooves here. And those flex grooves, they run pretty deep. You can see just how deep they are. And they create these pillars, and these are pillars of cushion. So I'm going to take my thumbs and depress one of those to see just how soft or how easily that uh, hyperburst midsole material does uh, compress under just the weight of my thumbs. And you can see that it compresses pretty easily. So these are soft, they're highly cushioned but yet they're responsive and they're pretty flexible on your toe off, even given the fact that there is an H carbon fiber plate infused in that midsole material. So let's take a look at the outsole rubber material that they're using to protect all of that hyperburst midsole foam that we just got done looking at. And you can see that they have it in all of the high abrasion area. So a ton of it around in the heel and then through the midfoot, forefoot and around through the toe. And they're using Goodyear rubber to do it. You know, and I think they got it just about spot on. They have it in all of the areas we're going to likely to see wear first. And then they have it on each one of those pillars of cushion as well. And I think it's just enough to be able to give you a little extra durability so that that hyperburst midsole material is going to last a while and enough traction to help you feel safe when you're out running. So just a quick note about those flex grooves, how deep they are in those pillars of cushion that they created. They do tend to pick up some sticks and debris along the way. Now these are a neutral road shoe and I pretty much had these just out on the pavement, but I kept picking up these sticks and they would get stuck right in those flex grooves because they are so deep. They, so they do tend to pick up a few things here or there. It's a little bit of an annoyance, but it isn't anything that would keep me from buying these shoes again in the future. So Skechers did a great job with the Max Road 5. The upper is really comfortable to run in. It's easy to get locked in across the midfoot section of the shoe using that classic eyelet chain that they have. And then around the heel collar and the tab, they have plenty of padding to keep you comfortable when you're out running. Combine that with all of their hyperburst midsole material and that carbon fiber infused H plate that runs in the middle of it make these a great choice to pick up as a daily trainer. So I know Skechers is a bit of a dark horse when it comes to running shoes. It's not typically the first name that comes to mind when you're out shoe shopping. But if you are looking for a new pair of running shoes, I think these are worth checking out. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it for you. As always, run tall, run strong, be kind to one another. Thanks for watching and peace.